Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn and today's episode we're continuing a series of videos on NFL Draft Bust Analytics where we go back and look at various NFL Draft Busts or players that didn't live up to expectations of where they were drafted to see if data such as production or athleticism can kind of give some answers as to why teams might have missed on these players or why these players might not have lived up to the expectations that they that were put on them based on where they were drafted. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And today's video, we're going to be profiling Tyson Jackson, a defensive lineman who was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs. Fairly high. Uh, the previous video to this, of course, was on Glenn Dorsey. Uh, but uh, let's get into his data profile. So first off, in terms of production analytics, uh, Tyson Jackson was not terrible when it comes to production, but he also wasn't elite. Uh, he only had a 50.10 solo tackle score, 72.57 sack score, and an 80.35 tackle for loss score. He did not hit all the requirements for all pro, all pro potential, nor did he hit all the requirements for Pro Bowl potential when it comes to his solo tackle data and his tackle for loss data. He did at least look like a starter and has gone on to become a long-term starter, but definitely did not hit high-quality outcomes with his overall data. When you look at the averages at the position, it becomes more apparent. Uh, nowhere near the all-pro averages, uh, nowhere near the Pro Bowl averages, and kind of far off from the starter averages in terms of his solo tackle data. And I think the bigger nail in the coffin for Tyson Jackson is his athleticism traits. Only 25.80 in terms of explosiveness, 74.76 in terms of speed, and 44.86 in terms of flexibility for his size. His speed score and his flexibility score definitely look like an all-pro potential defensive tackle, but it's his explosion testing that was the biggest issue. 100% uh, of multiple all-pro defensive tackles had at least a 66.96 explosion score, and Pro Bowl players had at least a 51 explosion score. So when it comes to Tyson Jackson, he did not have all the traits indicative of a multiple all-pro slash Pro Bowl defensive tackle from an athleticism standpoint nor do you have all the traits necessary from a production standpoint, which is in many ways why he didn't live up to the expectations of being a top five overall defensive tackle. Uh, so so what, what can we learn from this? Well, all there is to learn is that these GMs or these teams are drafting players with incomplete data. They're drafting players with incomplete information. And um, they're definitely basing their drafts on what they've done previous, experience, these types of things, but experience without actual concrete knowledge uh, or, or, or in the sense that experience without actually understanding exactly what led to these events to happen. Uh, so like not having a great understanding of why this circumstance happened or, you know, kind of making up something on the fly as to why, like, this player ended up becoming successful while this other player didn't, is why you get into some of these issues, you know, because data in many ways provides a very objective way to look at what the traits are on paper. It's not based on my opinion. It's not based on a hunch. It's not based on my gut feeling. It's not based on what I saw in the past. It's based on something that is concrete and objective. And when you look at Tyson Jackson from an objective standpoint, it does make a lot of sense why he didn't live up to the expectation of being a top five overall defensive tackle. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.